Okay, let's have a look at how to use the new config tools in OpenMRS 3.x ref app to add some branding. Um, so let's, or theming rather. So let's see here. What if we wanted to turn the current 3.x ref app into some coloring styles that are a bit more um, similar to say your organization's branding? So using the new um, uh, additional config options that have been added, we are going to be able to, let's just get out of the way. We're gonna be able to change some of the main colors that we're seeing here. There we go, all right. So we're gonna go and change these brand colors, but what should we change them to? Well, uh, I've gone through our 2.x ref app just as an example, and I've looked at some of the key colors that we use and because uh, they're a little different than our, than our style guide. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and use some of these key uh, hex codes. So for our primary color, we are going to set the config here like so, and let's save that. You can see that teal just changed to green up here in the main navigation. However, some things, whoops, let's go back. Some things are still not um, looking like we would expect. Uh, let's go back to John Wilson here. Sorry about that. Let's discard. Okay, perfect. All right, so we've changed that green. Now let's go ahead and change the secondary color. It's the purple that you're used to seeing in the general actions there. All right, let's save that. And now um, if I, you can see when I'm hovering, it's now purple when I hover over an action state. And so if I click here, you can see we have purple and green. You might want to um, uh, play with your with your different um, branding colors to see what you think looks best. All right, and a final one. Our third color seems to be this this green, particularly for some of our buttons. So let's go ahead and add that in. Let's go ahead and save it. Great. Okay. So now that we've done that, you can see these little guys. Let's just close this tooling. Okay, and I don't need that right now. You can see these little guys have been changed to a green whereas they were teal before. Let's go ahead and open an example form here. This is a good one. You can now see that instead of being teal, this has been changed to be the tertiary color that we chose. So you can see it's, it's bright green, and so is this uh, highlighting around the pencil here, indicating our form is open. And you can see that when I hover over it, it turns back to our primary green color. All right, well, that was, that was quick. Uh, let's try another example. Uh, let's go ahead and try, uh, well, let me show you what Ampath did. So they, uh, the developers reached out to some of their marketing folks and asked for the branding guidelines. And as a result of that, they were able to get some guidance on some of the primary colors that are recommended uh, for use. So I'm just going to give an example, but um, they, they ended up working with the team to, to agree on some other colors. So uh, let's try changing the, fig, the config again. Here we go. So let's turn this into the Ampath blue. You can see this, uh, this main bar just changed. Let's change the secondary color to this green. Okay, and let's finally change the third color to this blue. And then we'll look at the same things that we were just looking at. Uh, earlier in the ref app colors. All right, so let's save that and let's close this to see how things changed. Here we go. You can now see the new blue has been applied here as well as here and uh, and here as well under the header uh, card header visual. And if I also go here, you can see the secondary color. So obviously uh, you might want to play around with what primary colors for your organization that you use, but uh, now that once you decide whether these colors look uh, good for you and your organization, you can download that temporary config and then apply it to your distribution. And that was a quick demo of how to use the new config tools for theming.